So hello guys and welcome to this new video and today I'm gonna explain you something about the editor for local users and grubs in Windows 10. So if I try to run the snap in in Windows 10 home edition I'm getting here an error message saying that the snap in is not compatible with this edition of Windows 10 because it is not included in Windows 10 home editions. But the problem is that it is a very useful tool for administrators to create new users and manage groups. So for this problem I've got here, I think, a good solution. And this is basically a, a little fake of the snap-in. But it provides almost the same functions as the snap-in which is included in Windows 10. I can add here a full name, description, I can change here every setting, I can create new users and groups. Uh, so, here's the alternativity to the snap in. This program has been programmed by me with visualbasic.net, and well, I will show you how to create a new user here. So now I'm typing here some details. Oops. So uh, now I will specify a password, which is 123456, which is a very, very bad password you never should use. And I'm also checking here this checkbox that the user must change his password before he logs in the first time. And if you don't specify here a group membership, it also says here, the user will be in the default group, which is the user's group. But now I will add him to the administrator's group. Let's close, create a new user. So now it says here it has been created, and I also see him here. So now let's log off. Yeah, and here Fred Brown. Here we have it. And now I type one two one two three four five six. And now it says here that I have to change the password before logging in. If I click cancel, I'm out of here and I cannot log in. So I have to change the password. Now we'll change it to six five four three two one. Carry on. And now it says here the password has been successfully changed. So, and now I'm in here. But there's another thing you should know about this editor. And that is if you delete a user like that. Now the user account is deleted and forever gone, and the user cannot log in anymore to Windows. But, as you can see here, the account and the files are still there, and you have access to all the files, but actually the user account is gone. And, about the other version here, this is just a translation into German, if you like it, if you are German and if you like it in German, here is the entire program, written in German. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and both versions will be available for download in the description for you. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, see you next time.